This is a foreign food market that sells live fish, eels, frogs, turtles, and a ton of other live animals that are destined to get eaten. Now, normally people go to this food market to buy the freshest fish possible, the fish that are still alive and swimming in water. They buy them, fillet them, and then eat them for dinner. But the fish guys are going to the foreign market to actually save the fish. We even went out and bought a record-breaking cooler. This is like four feet long because we want to save as many fish as we can. Now, all we have to do is hope that we're actually allowed to take these fish fully alive and bring them back to the ponds and hope they don't kill them before we can actually save their lives. So let's jump in the car, drive 45 minutes to this foreign food market and try to save as many fish or eels as possible. There is live fish in this area. Oh, they're all alive. These crabs are fully alive. That's the biggest crab I've actually ever seen. Hundreds of tilapias over there that are live, ready to get butchered by this man. This is where it gets it gets creepy here. Oh, this is sad. This is, here we go, here's our next bin. Jellyfish head and jellyfish skin. Live frogs. Hey guys. He's swimming upside down. Can you fill it with water? No. I want to keep him alive. There's no water in the bucket. I need to take you into the hospital immediately, bro. Now you guys think we're kidding about the record breaking cooler, but literally we're bringing our own water to this foreign market so that as soon as they bag them, we could run them to the car or even bring this bucket inside and throw them in this water so they're not literally just in a bag without water. So check this damn cooler out, it is insane. Ugh, this is gonna take a while, but look at the size of this cooler. This is uh, what, 50 inches? This is like a 50 inch cooler and we got this for a couple different reasons. One, to, to put as many fish as possible in here to try to save them, bring them back to our ponds. And two, we're looking for a 40 inch barracuda for the saltwater pond. That's coming very soon. If you guys wanna see that video, drop a like for a 40 inch barracuda. I'm talking a big boy going in the saltwater pond. So we're taking our own pond water with us to this foreign market because you know what the fish guys say, no fish left behind. We're gonna try to get as many as possible. Listen, I'm not one for the gym that often, but I'll tell you what, being a fish guy, you get your own modern workouts, although it just makes you lose weight. Like I need to gain about 20 pounds, but you can't when you're just running around filling buckets. We basically need all the water inside of this pond. Every last drop. It's a very big cooler. It's a very big cooler because we don't know if they're gonna be loaded up with fish, but even if they have like, dude, they could sell like a gar there that people wanna eat. Yeah, how many buckets do you think we're gonna need, Chris? Four. Four. That's nice. One more might do it. One more. Now, last time we did this video was like three years ago, and we actually got some tilapias and saved them. I don't know how they lived because they gave us no water in the bag, so hopefully they give us water this time. But last time we had to pull over on the side of the road and fill up our cooler, but now we're coming prepared and filling up the cooler beforehand, so we can just run the fish right to the car. I even got food for them. Good, yes, See? good. Got some pellets Just in, in case they get hungry. On the way home. At least I have some food. We got eight pellets for them. Good. Let's you go. never know. This is our last bucket. Last bucket. Beautiful, beautiful. They got a nice big cooler. I don't know, you guys probably cannot tell how big this cooler is. I could be. It's huge. I could, I could lay. I could shut like you this. in that cooler. Yeah, no, I could get in here for sure. That is a giant cooler. All right, shut her down. Let's roll. All right, foreign food market, here we come. <sighs> We're coming in hot. We're coming in at 40 on the freaking turn because we almost <laughs> lost it. Fuck almost yeah. missed it, where are we? Where's the thing? I hope we still have water in our cooler. I had to cut that guy off. I felt really bad. Yeah, no, we probably have zero water left. Shoot. Where is it? I think we have been in this one before. There it is. Mango. Where? Mango Supermarket. They Don't tell me you took me to the wrong place. Did they rebrand? Did you take me to the wrong place? Where Where are we, bro? No, 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 no. I feel like they rebranded. We just drove 45 minutes on it. This might be a totally not the right place. Chris. We've been here before, dude. I'm telling you. That has to be it. It has to be it. Yeah, Mango, supermarket. They, they Mango Tree Supermarket. They renamed it to Mango Tree Supermarket. Am I, I right? Would, yeah, I would not be surprised if this place is no, non-existent anymore. I would not be no surprised. No fish. We're going to see. We're going to have to go in and scout it out right now. We're going to scout it out, but I would really not be surprised if it's totally just gone. Like a Kmart now. And okay. the thing is, we're going to have to bring in our bucket of water because I remember last time we asked for tilapia, they just like, they wanted to take it out of the tank and, and just stab it in the head and, and, and kill end it. it. We want it to be alive. We need to stress the fact that we want it alive, Jack. I agree. I want to stress the fact that they <laughs> might only sell mangoes. Maybe it's just a giant supermarket with mangoes. There's only one way to find out. Let's go. Are you ready to save some fish? Just went cross-eyed, that lens is filthy. Are we gonna save some fish? We might be saving mangoes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Into the store we go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we might be going to save some mangoes, ladies and gentlemen. We're phoning it right now. It's actually a great camera. You like that? Yeah, I like this. Let's this is save. really let's, sentimental. Let's S -S -S fit. Uh, is this guy okay? Let's SSF, save some fish. Save some fish or 
S S M. Save some mangoes. <laughs> I don't see any fish involved. What in about this the right bucket? Now. Are we just gonna go scouting? No, right now? we're going scouting. Yeah. Scouting. Okay. We're scouting. This, is, this is our scout mission, and then we're gonna go get our bucket of water. The aroma is telling me fish. Holy. Would hell. you like a cart, sir? No. We've arrived. We've arrived. I think I see fish. Ooh, I, I do see fish. I, I see fish. I do Lots see fish. fish. But are they all dead? No. Those fish tanks. No, they're alive. They're alive. Those fish Confirmed. tanks. Confirmed. There is live fish in this area. And we are going to buy them and save them. Just like we saved Earl the lobster from that supermarket. Amen. We're going to have to name this. We're going to name this thing. No matter what we get, whether it's a frog, whether it's a turtle, whether it's an eel, I don't know. Probably going to get a fish. Maybe an eel too. Let's go look. Lots of fish. Oh my god, dude. Wow. <laughs> Jackfish. That's me. Jackfish, they have, jack of all. They have jack of all here. They have jack of all here. Dude, this is insane. You gotta check out this, this bucket of crab. Oh my god, like the fish trap. I wonder what kind of fish trap they're using to catch all these. He's alive. Oh, they're all alive. He's alive. They're alive. These crabs are fully alive. Holy crap, look at all those crabs. They might be dropping fish traps. Look at How that. are you? You got a huh? big ass thing. Good? Yeah. It's good. Yeah. We're gonna get some fish. Tilapia. Tilapia, alive. Yeah. I want them alive. He knows what's going on. We're gonna get some. We're gonna get some tilapias. So that's the fish tank right there. That's one of the fish tanks. There's more on the other side, but this is the first live fish we're seeing. First of all, top left on that fish tank, it's a big ass live crab. Holy crap! That's not. That's not a blue crab either. That's the biggest crab I've actually ever seen. I don't know what kind of crab that is, but we have that, and we also have the just hundreds of tilapias over there that are live, ready to get butchered by this man. But we're telling him we want them alive. Look at those slops. Oh my God, I didn't even see all those. Yeah, on the bottom, dude. Right there, look at all those tilapias. All across the bottom, straight tilapias. Look at these guys, see? Straight tilapias, it's probably dude. so scary. They see all their friends over here just dead. <laughs> Getting ambushed. Everyone dead. Wow. Where I think I want to take a couple of these, too. Okay. Live yellow this is This is where it gets, it gets creepy here. Oh my God, dude. I don't like this. Oh my God, it's looking at us, I know, bro. I don't like this one bit. It's looking at us, dude. I don't like this one Did bit. you just see that thing down there? I don't like we this one We have to get one. Chris, I don't like this we one We have bit. to get one. We have to get Wild one. caught in Vietnam. What? Okay, all right. Well, guess what? Will they live in a pond? We have to give them a chance. We have I've never seen such a thing. What is this? Uh, frog. Oh my God. Live frogs. Look at this. Look at them in the back. Look at them in the back. Oh my Who is eating these, bro? Do people eat these? He's kind of cute. Not gonna look at this dude. All right, well I'm definitely not getting a frog, but who eats who eats that? You do. I would never. Live frog, farm raised in Taiwan. Oh, this is sad. This is here we go. Here's our next bid. Oh, those, those are, are some turtles. strange looking turtles. <laughs> it's just more frogs. Strange looking turtles. I guess they don't have any turtles for sale in the back. Oh my God, look at all those frogs back there, bro. <laughs> it's that such is a funny shot. Ridiculous. That is a hilarious shot. What's up, dude? Are you kidding me right now, dude? It's insane. Okay, so I think that that's what they have for live. I think we get an eel and a tilapia. An eel? I think we get an eel. These eels are scary, and I think they need cold water. <laughs> well, look at that thing. I don't like any of these, Chris. Those are disgusting. Should I put my hand in and just grab no. them? Do not even touch that water. They're bro. probably like Don't deadly. Even... They're probably deadly. We're getting an eel alive. We have to. Oh, okay. <laughs> to my knowledge, this is jellyfish. Yeah. Jellyfish head and jellyfish skin. I didn't even know you could actually eat jellyfish. Very what? interesting. Jellyfish. Jellyfish? Jellyfish. Look at these poor guys, bro. There's no. too many to take them all at once. They, they, they won't even fit in on all of our coolers. Hey guys. He's swimming upside down. Yeah. Way too many of them. All right, we came outside to regroup a little bit because we didn't bring our bucket. That was just a scout mission, and we scouted. We are going to bring our bucket inside, but the cooler went flying. Might get a couple jellyfish. Do we have any water in this thing still? Oh, it's kind of driving like a maniac. I and mean, after you took oh, that plenty turn, of water. Plenty after of you water. took that turn at 40, I was a little worried. I was a little <laughs> worried there wasn't going to be a cooler in the bed. Okay, plenty of water. I think we're going to get... Got food for them, too. Okay, good. Looking out for them. Okay, good. Empty bucket. We're going to tell this guy, listen, put all the fish and water inside of here. We gotta make it so quick. We can't fit too many fish inside of here. So. Yeah, we can only fit like maybe two. Should we go for three? Three tilapias? Three tilops? What about the eel? The eel's scary. I think we get the eel, dude. Okay. <laughs> two tilapias and one eel. Go back into the uh, back into the mango tree. Here we come. <laughs> got fish to save, sir. It's getting busy here. I know, we gotta freaking do it quickly. By the way, guys, they have literally koi on ice. Should those we get one of those? Koi fish on ice. Should we get one of those? It's a koi fish we on could ice, possibly bro. resuscitate that. We might be able to. He looks kind of alive. That's a koi fish on ice, bro. 
They call it a golden carp, but it's a koi fish. Aren't the koi fish carp? Yeah. Then we just learned that. Can you fill it with water? No? Can you put water in the bag? In the bag? Two, right? Two. I want to keep them alive. Thank you. Okay, we just gave him the bucket. If uh, if they put them in there with no water, I'm gonna have to run to the car, Jack. You're in the pay. I'll take their sticker off. Yeah. Two. Yes. That's the world's luckiest to lop. It's just like Earl all over again. <laughs> just like Earl all over again. Yep, just like Earl. Shout out Earl, our, our, Shout our out lobster. Earl. Is there water in it though? Nope. Okay. I don't There's, think so. There's no water. You're gonna have to literally spray. No activation. Holy cow, that's an Earl. Oh, no it's not actually. That's a mega. Oh, sugar puff, he's on the ground. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, no, you know why? He's gotta weigh them. He's gotta weigh them. There's no you water. Pain by pound. Charge me 100. We're good. There's no water in the bucket. He's gotta weigh them. No, there's no water in the bucket at all. <clears throat> I want that. He's weighing them. He's weighing them. He just weighed them. They're about five pounds. Everybody here is looking at me like I have 45 heads. <laughs> I know. Secured. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. You better go. Give me the ticket. You better go. Oh my god, dude. Ew. Why is it soaking wet? <laughs> Here, take this. Okay, I'm taking the camera. I'm, I'm getting out of the store. Walking through the store with my two fish. Go! Walking <laughs> through the store with my fish. <laughs> what about the eel, dude? Okay, we're outside. We well, are outside. We have two tilapias. Two fish in the bucket that we are going to save. He put a little bit of water in there, so I think it's going to work. We have our cooler. I'm about to dump the fish in. I just got splashed on in my face. Two live fish saved from the supermarket. Oh my God, let's go, baby. Drop a comment down below. What are we naming these guys? Two fish saved. Give them some O2. I got no. an error. What happened? Jack, Joseph. Did he eat? He's turning upside down. No, 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 he needs O2. He needs O2. Just like that. Perfect. You see that? Perfect aeration. See that technique? Perfect aeration. You saw that technique though, right? Let's go. This one's a beast, dude. We need names down in the comments. It's a hog. For the two fish we saved. Let's go. We have our two fish inside of our cooler. I had to run them through the supermarket because the guy put barely any water in here. Luckily, it was just enough to get them to the cooler and we got them in. They look great. One of them actually is kind of swimming weird, but still, as long as he's breathing, that is the move. We got our fish saved from the supermarket just like we saved Earl the Lobster. Jack, open that cooler. Look at those. Oh, no. Oh my God. We gotta no. go. We gotta get home. Resuscitate him. Give me the, give me the O2. Resuscitate him, dude. Give me the O2. Oh my God, bro, he's not breathing. Give him CPR. Came here to you, save buddy. the fish. Watch this technique, trust. See, see? That's the technique. Oh my he's God. immediately alive. Oh my God, you just resuscitated him. Trust me, bro. Okay, this one's kicking like a champ. That one we're gonna have to watch, keep an eye on. Okay, drop names in the comments. The two fish we're saving. Guys, we're going back in the supermarket. We saved those two fish, but one of those eels is calling to me. I think we need to take home an eel. Here's one of our eels. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we get that There's one. That's Gustavo. Good. There he is. That's Gustavo. I love. We'll him. take him live. Let's tell the boys. Let's tell the boys to bag up another eel. Trust me. Something that. Yeah. Anyone that sticks out to you, uh, that you like, you get to pick. I mean, that guy looks kind of wild. You grab on your hands. Yeah. Savage. Did they bite you. <laughs> Heads up. Nice. Perfect. Oh God, he's. Oh, squirming. he's a lively one. Very nice. Yeah. How do you cook him? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> that's crazy! Oh my god, that's crazy! So many of them. How do you cook it? You cook it. You like eating these? Yeah. They're good. Really? Wow! Look nice. at that thing! Oh! Nice. <laughs> we'll take them. Thank you. Leave them? No, 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 no we'll lie. Like that. Oh. Thank you. Yes. I have my eel in my hand. Holy I have an eel in my eel. I think they breathe air, so I think we should be fine. Okay, bring them to the thing. Put them on the put them on the table. What table? Bang left. This way? Just kidding. Paying for it. Eel on the freaking rug. Yeah. It's $10 for this eel. It's a deal and a half. Okay, okay, we gotta get this guy in water. Let's go. I don't see you running. No. I don't see you hustling. Run. We gotta, we gotta get this guy in water. Run. <laughs> I, think, I think he's losing life. Eel secured. Full blown eel secured. Who would have known? Who would have thought you could buy eels from a supermarket? All right, Mr. Eel. Trick is gonna be getting this guy out of the bag. Be very careful. Oh my god, they're both doing okay. They're both alive. They're both alive. They're both doing great. I'm really worried about this eel. Chris, I cannot even believe for the slightest bit that you're touching that. I have to. Okay, Eel. Look at that thing. He's disgusting in here, dude. No, He's it's all slimy. Slime. So drop him in. Ew. Is he sliming? No. Where's the hole? Right there. His tail's right there. There you go, there you go. Oh! Ew! Oh. 
What oh, the? Look at him trying to get out. Oh Holy my god. Shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my He's god. He's fast. He's so fast. We have fast. an eel in here. He's so fast. We have Do a not touch full me. blown eel. Dude. <laughs> what the heck, bro? What the heck? Eel and tilapia. Look at that thing. That thing is wild. That thing is wild. Just calm down and relax. We have a freaking eel in here, Jack. We got a name. It looks like so much like a snake. Like, look at the head. It looks he like a python. Yeah, it does look like a python. That legit looks like a snake. Full blown. That's insane. Let's zoom in on him. Look at that eel. Did it again, Jack. We saved. We saved our buddies here. Let's see if they have a success journey like Earl. Look at that thing. You think they're going to have a success journey like Earl? I think they will. We're going to get a nice net over the pond, we'll be good. Now we need three names in the comments. Two fish, one eel. Drop them down below. Let's get these guys back to the crib. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it back to the house. After a long, we were in traffic, so it was about 45 minutes. We're pumped to get these fish and they're home. We haven't checked them. We're going to check them with you guys. Here we go. We're checking our fish. Did they make it? Did they make it? <gasps> Jesus. No. They, these guys made it. This was the one, I had a feeling when he scooped it out, it did look a little like- Rumbly tumbly. He was like pink, he was like pale. No, dude. I thought, we, thought we had a chance. He's you, done. You think he's done? He's done. No, dude. The other two made it. We might have to go back and buy the rest of that tank with five more coolers. It could have been that like split me running to the car, him not getting enough oxygen, but these guys lived, so I don't get it. This this fish right here is fully alive and that eel is alive. Look so at that weird. eel, bro. That is the weirdest thing ever. So weird. Dude. Half, half eel, half snake. What are we gonna do with that? Half eel, half snake. I think there's only, I think there's only one thing to do. I think you know. Pots, are you up for it? Here, should we get? Should we get the cooler out of the truck? Yeah, let's get the cooler out of the truck. Oh my god, this is what we're gonna be up for when we get a CUDA. When we get a giant CUDA. Uh, how heavy is this about to be? I don't know, is it gonna be heavy? <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not get bad. Get it in, all. get it in. Right there. Oh, dude. You're kidding. Seen that starfish is so long, look at him. Oh crap. Look at the little serpent. Little serpent star the on the moon. The <laughs> serpent's balling. What's up, Pots? Pots is ready for a big meal because we uh, couldn't save the, every single fish we bought. Look at that star, dude. He's crushing. Look at the Tesselata, too. Tesselata's killing it. Mora Eel's killing it. Everybody looks fire, bro. Everyone looks great today. Absolutely fantastic today. Sadly, sadly, we missed out on one fish. Look at that eel, dude. dude that is I don't the like weirdest him. thing I've ever seen, bro. Look at that thing. How is that even a real thing that you can buy? It literally looks like a python snake. I don't like that thing one bit. No, that thing is poor, so strange. Poor Joseph. Josephina. Poor Joseph. This guy's still being a beast in the corner. He's a survivor. He is a survivor like Earl is, but this poor tilapia didn't make it. I can't believe that, bro. Can't let him go to waste though. No, definitely not. But how many tilapias did they have in that tank? They had probably 500. So many. No, they probably had like 50. They had, yeah, probably more than that. I mean, there was like- No space. Five right. tanks along the bottom and then five tanks along the top and they all were full with at least 15 in each. So that's, you do the math, like 100? That's there a, was lot a lot of, of tilapia. There was a lot of tilapia. And this is crazy because this is what we feed them when we go to the store and we just buy a bag full of frozen tilapia. This is exactly what it is. And uh, now they're, instead of getting just a filet, they're getting a, a full on freaking- a full, a full, full tilapia. Full tilap, full tilap. I think it's time. I'm a little intim intimidated by that Strange species. <laughs> that eel? Come on, you got this. Just bro. a bit. That's how he breathes. He keeps his head out of the water. That is the weirdest. That is the weirdest thing ever. All right, let's do this. Let's get do em. this. That way we can get these guys. Look at that right there. That is like insanity. We tried our best for him. We sure did. But Potts is look, look at Potts over there. Potts he's is lit up. Looking. He's, he's lit so up. Ready? Is he gonna be able to engulf this? I don't, think he's, I, don't, I don't think he's gonna be able to eat it. I don't think so either. If you not, we'll flam. You gotta give him head first. Hundred percent. Pots. Uh, Pots, are you gonna be able to eat that, dude? Don't scare me, bro. Here you go, buddy. This is the biggest freaking fish we've ever fed him. Three, two, one. He, he missed. missed. He missed. He missed. He missed. He missed. Oh my god. Get him, Jack. I can't. Get the tilap. He's about to get. He knows to go head first. Oh he my god. Oh my god. He got it. There's no way he eats that thing. Yeah, there is. There's no way he yes, eats that thing. Yes, there is. Thing. Holy freaking crap. That thing is. 
huge. Look at that grouper, bro. He's gonna swallow it. He's a problem. This is our last couple months with pots. He's gone. Yeah, he's got go. We want cooler fish in this pond. We have a huge pond that we can have thousands of fish in, but pots will eat that big of a fish. For scale, that, that fish is probably as big as this Emperor Snapper. And imagine if we would have put this Emperor Snapper in the giant he pond. Would get, he would 100% would get swallowed. He would get absolutely destroyed. Look at Pots. He's got to get it sideways and it's going to go down. Oh my God, Pots. He's such a savage. Oh my God, Pots. He is such a savage. You it's are crazy. A that is insane how extra large that fish is. I mean, if you think about it, dude, people that go offshore and fish, they fish whole grunts, whole big things like that, and fish of pot size, some even smaller, absolutely engulf them, and it's crazy. It's crazy to think what they can actually take down. So sadly, our one tilapia didn't make it, but we have two really sick fish in here. We got our striped fish, and we have our eel, which is so strange. So let's get them in their pond, in their respective pond now, and see how they're gonna do in there. Pans is trying to steal the, the tilapia. Pans is straight Pans up trying to steal Pans is trying to steal it from, from pot. Pots just took a dump. Oh my God. It it oh it. my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy Pots crap. Pots just took the biggest dump and now it's like a smoke screen in here. <laughs> a smoke screen? <laughs> Literally. Talk about a big dump. Dude, maybe they can't eat it. Maybe they can't eat it. We're gonna have to flay it. We're gonna have to flay them. It's too big of a fish. It's too big of a tilapia. That's okay. We'll we'll let him we'll let him attempt it, and if not, we'll we'll uh, scoop him out. We'll scoop him out, fillet him, and then that'll be that. Might even bring it back to Jeremy the Redtail. Yeah. Bring the carcass. That'd be epic. But let's get these guys in there and they're in their home. Let's do it. All right. Yeah. It's oh actually pretty God. heavy. It's actually pretty heavy. So heavy. But guess what? We did it. We did it for for to save these fish, dude. Trust me. Watch the work. dumps. Put it down for a sec. Oh my God, you know how hard it is gonna be when we get a barracuda that is literally 40 inches long, we have to transport it? That is gonna be so difficult. Once again, drop a like on this video if you guys wanna see a 40 inch barracuda go in that pond because that's gonna be the last time with big predators in the pond. And then uh, I think we're gonna move on to uh, bigger and better things. I think so too, I think but it's we, time. Think we have to time. at least have a 40 inch cuda in there for a little bit. So <laughs> let's, get these, let's get these fish over to the pond. Let's do it. Ready, three, two, one. <sighs> How you doing over there? Oh, just great. Okay. Just great. Okay. I'm fully lying to you. Before we get these fish in the pond, I think the reason why me and Jack are sick is because it's like 71 degrees here in Florida. It's hoodie season officially. If you guys want a hoodie, respect the locals with pots on it, go check it out. We just dropped the new design. Shopfishguy.com for all your fish guy needs. Now let's get these fish in the pond. Let's get the boys in. Let's get the boys in. Hey, you right, oh, buddy? He's actually very nice. He's a nice guy. He's nice. I mean, the guy at the store literally just manhandled him. He just literally him, just grabbed him and didn't even have no fear. That guy at the, at the store. Shout out to that guy. He was great. He just grabbed him with the, with his bare hands and picked him up. That was pretty crazy. But it's like Patrick and uh, and Joe all over again. Give me a buddy. He's actually in pretty good shape. No, he actually came in really. He's got a lot of life too. Look at that. Oh my God, he's kicking. <laughs> That's it. You're done. I need to take you into the hospital immediately, bro. Did it get in your mouth? <laughs> what, about your, what about your eye? Come on, be a man. Do it. This is disgusting, Chris. Just Did you see it. what they were living in? Yes. <laughs> Just grab him, bro. Oh my God. Come here, dude. Okay. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ready, Chris? Yes. You're ready for this. Here you go, buddy. There you go. There you go. There you go. Be safe in your pond, There you buddy. go. There, there you go, you big go, boy. Buddy. There you go, buddy. He's fine. He's, He's booing. Fine. He's doing to do great in there. Hey, buddy. There he is. All right, drop some names down below for this guy right here, you guys. He yeah. is an interesting one, that's He's for gonna love sure. it. He's got a bunch of fish in here to uh, be friends with. He's got a bunch of uh, little guppies in there swimming around. He'll do great. I think he's, he's doing great. He's, he's going to do great. Dude, this thing is crazy, bro. That is gnarly. He's literally a snake. That is so gnarly. Look at that. Get him up here, Jack. You ready? Yeah. I want to see him out of the water, bro. Look at that. He's actually super chill. Come here, buddy. Hey. You know what? This net will be better. This way we can actually see him. You know what I'm saying? I want to see him in the sunlight, dude. Look at that. Oh. That is so weird. 
That is one of the most insane creatures. You know what ever. this might be? You know those videos where they people pour the coke in the in the mud and they come out. Yes, in the mud holes. Yeah, <laughs> that might be what this thing is. So strange, bro. Dude, get him in the sun, Jack. Hey, how strange is that? Let me zoom in on his face. I wonder if they are mean like a moray eel. Let's get our boy in. See where he wants to go. He's getting feisty now. He's getting feisty now, Jack. Ooh. Wrangle that alligator. Come here. I got him. I got God, him. he's getting crazy now, dude. I think we woke up the beast. I think he's excited. Come here, dude. Okay, let me get the other net. He's, he is awoken, bro. He has awoken. Holy oh my shit. God, he's got Shorter. wheels. He's, he's got wheels. Got him. I've got him. <laughs> we got him. I've got him. He chilled out for a bit. He chilled out for a bit. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Here you go, buddy. Relax. Relax. Hey, there you go. Oh my God, dude. What a he's strange, right the top. strange species. So there you guys have it. There is like the creepiest eel I've literally ever laid eyes on in my entire life. Now we have Brooke coming to the house right now with a huge net. That way we can secure this thing completely tight so this guy cannot escape this pond. And uh, he's strange. Drop a name for him down below. Chris and I are both under the weather right now. So that's why we sound a little congested and the energy is just <laughs> dragging a little bit, but we're doing our best here. We're doing our best. We need a name for this guy down in the comments. And what do you think we should feed him? Because I have no idea. So for now, we're gonna throw a net over this thing, make sure he's all good. And we'll maybe throw some pieces of shrimp. Maybe he wants some shrimp. Maybe he wants some shrimp. You never know. All right, so there you guys have it. What an epic day. What a strange place to go buy fish from. I mean, very strange. I don't know if I ever see myself going back. <laughs> But uh, definitely was an experience. I can assure you guys that. Drop some names down below for everything that we got today. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to go check out fishguy.shop and we'll catch you all in that next video. Later. <laughs>